Um, I will do a screen share for you real quick. This is your homework. A lot of people are using Canva that are in this group. It's kind of, it's our shortcut for all things graphic design. I actually went to school for graphic design and I still love Canva because it makes it so much easier and so accessible to everyone. Canva has apps over here on the left and it has an AI app. So I just, I can select the app over here and I tell it what to do. And you're not gonna get mid journey quality and you will get something you can play with. So for us, I would say like with AI smart marketing, um, we do a lot, we talk a lot about so posting to social media. So I'm gonna do social media icons. And I'm going to say, I want them in purple. Let's see, bright, pink and purple. And floating in space in Dolly style. And let's see what it gives me. And this will take just a moment. Um, and somebody asked in the questions, if two people put in the same prompt, will they get different answers or will they get different visuals? And you could get different visuals day to day. You may get similar visuals, um, but we use the same even verbal prompts from week to week and we test some of them and we'll get different results. So the, the tool is evolving because so many people are using it. And I would say if you are curious, just test it side by side with a friend. Um, this is, these are not great. Like this is okay, but it's not great. So now I'm going to down here, there's different styles I could do. Maybe let's try a watercolor and we're gonna include dark, pink and purple. Because that does not, I've done this same prompt before and I got different results that were way better than what I just got today. <laughs> so we always like to test and see what's going on here. Oh, here's watercolor and I don't see any social media icons. Well, maybe a hint. So that's not a great one. Um, let's try this style. And this is the thing about AI and what Olivier has done so well is they have a playbook of do this and this and this to get these types of results. And in this case, we would just keep playing with it until we get results that we would want. But I don't even think that this, like this is not the best stuff I've gotten from this tool at all. Um, so Canva AI, I'm a little disappointed today. Um, and sometimes that happens. We had a super prompt that was really good and gave us excellent results. And then one week just stopped working from a, a verbal perspective. Um, but your homework this week is to go to Canva and try this out. So a lot of people have Canva accounts and the app is free in there. Um, and you can just experiment with it. Perfect. And would you show people again where you found this just in case they weren't paying attention? Yeah, on the left-hand navigation, there's a little apps icon and it, it shows the panda. This, the AI text to image is the first one that usually pops up for people because yeah. it's popular right now. Would you put red car just out of curiosity? Okay. Uh, uh, you know, that you guys will recall that Jeff had shared the evolution of mid journeys red car. So I'm curious to see what Canva AI, uh, how it compares and how it went. It, you know, in mid journey from uh, 1.0, which was not photorealistic to what is now photorealistic. And that looks so, pretty good. Yeah, red car, we get a variety of red cars. We didn't specify what kind, but yeah. yeah and you'll notice the structural racism of the Porsche. <laughs> we didn't tell it which car and it showed us a Porsche, but I drive a jalopy. I don't, I don't appreciate that. Where's my Ford Focus? <laughs> Let's see, red car. Word focus in oh, thank you. Miami. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the point that we're making is that it's trained on certain images. I guess red, uh, there's probably a lot of red Porsches. 
And so let's see what we've got. That definitely looks like Miami. And that definitely looks like a Focus hatchback. At least the bottom right one does. I could live with those. There you go. That looks like my car was gray, but other than that, it's perfect. Well, and it cuts off the front and the back in that one. So then you'd have to specify that you want the whole car with the background around it to give it. And you could even specify the padding on the edges of how much extra space you want to give it on the edges. Um, and so you don't have to be an expert in this. What you need to do is be curious and be curious about how to communicate the visual style that you want and to look at it, look at it that way. So I would ask for a Ford Focus to take up two thirds of an image and we show the whole car with the background in Miami at the beach at sunset. Um, we did some of these for a client that they could use on a blog post and they were in Texas and we were creating um, outdoor kitchens and bars with fireplaces, pools, um, and a flagstone patio. And we had some amazing images that came out of that, but we just had to get more specific because we didn't, at first we didn't put the location and we had mountains in the background. Well, that's not going to work in Texas. We needed it to look flat, like there's no green mountains in the background anywhere in Texas. Um, Perfect. So, yeah. So, so that's, that's Canva and that's your homework. 